good afternoon everybody we are here at one of our favorite places you probably recognize it uh, this is a place we have uh, done several reviews on in fact this is our fourth review here at the starfish company in cortez florida now there is no other place we have done four reviews on only this one the only reason we're doing another one now is because uh, I actually had said I wasn't going to do one and she said she was going to get something different tonight from her norm so I said I would do the same so we're actually not going to get what we usually get tonight we're going to get something different I don't know if she's decided I haven't decided yet but we're going to we're going to get something different because we know we'll be back here uh, in the summer anyway and we can get our uh, one that we know we like so we're going to try something different here tonight we are the starfish company here in Cortez Florida and again this is just this is our favorite seafood place of all time when we come to Florida uh, so we're not going to come down here and miss a chance to go uh, we are bringing you a fourth review so uh, this one's going to be a little different though so stay tuned some fish cleaning going on somewhere nearby. The neat thing about this place is it's all outdoor dining. Uh, there is a shelter in case of rain in some of the chairs, but not all of them are covered. You want to be aware that this place is cash only, uh, so you do need cash when you come here. They do not accept check and they do not accept credit cards here. This is an old Florida um, experience. That's why we like it. The, the seafood is fresh. The, scenery from the dock is very good we're right here on the intercoastal waterway and the smell is not so good but other than that i mean you can imagine sitting outside on the water and your fish but anyway we love coming here so we're walking around the back now i also want to mention they are pet friendly uh, you can bring your pet in a stroller or on a leash so here's the seating area out here So good, but I'm gonna maybe look at the pompano tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Ralph? We're sorry. Oh, you're fine. That's not really bad price for the key round pie. Consider what most places charge for desserts now. That's true. We saw it. What was it for? Seven dollars a slice. Uh, was that? Back. I'll show you the soft drinks. <coughs> tea that's available. There you go. Original oil paintings. Chuck Miano. Those 
out there on the dock only have an umbrella for shelter, so you will get wet if it rains, and that's all you got. But under here, about six or seven tables under the shelter, you will stay dry. You will not stay dry out there. But. A lot of birds out and about today. This is more birds than normal, and there's usually quite a few. Okay, now I said in the intro that we were going to do a review here because we're trying something different. Mm -hmm. uh, my plan got messed up a little bit. I think you went ahead and did do something different. I did. Uh, I'll tell you what happened, but go ahead. So I got the Cortez Special. Um, so you can choose any of the two, shrimp, mahi, oysters, scallops, grouper, crab cake, or clam shrimp. So I chose fried grouper and a crab cake. And of course I got cheese grits. Yeah, cheese grits is a must. It's just an apple. So yeah. how is that different than what you normally do here? Well, normally I get the shrimp and grits. You I did, but you did deviate. deviate. <coughs> Excuse me, and did the star combination plat platter, which was shrimp, oysters, scallops, and grouper all fried, and that was very good. Um, the last time when we came to Anna Maria Island two years ago, I think I got a, um, let's see, did I have a grouper sandwich? I think that's what I got. I think, yeah, I did. That's what I got, and we didn't do a review that night. That was you're talking about when we came at Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we're usually here in, in the summer. Yeah. Now, normally when we're here in the summer, again, sorry, <laughs> normally when we're here in the summer, it is so sweltering hot. That's the only miserable part about eating here. The food's great, mm -hmm. but it's just usually so hot here. Then the, when we came at Christmas, you were freezing. I thought it felt good. So this is actually the first time we're in it's not either been sweltering hot or a little nice. chilly. It's like 72 degrees right now. Yeah, yeah, it's so, nice. Yeah. Um, now, she usually gets the shrimp and grits, as she said. I usually get the combination of fried, gr or I'm sorry, blackened grouper and fried shrimp with cheese grits, which is the Cortez special. So, I had said I was going to do something different tonight for the sake of this review. So, I was going to go with the Florida Pompano. Mm -hmm. Pompano is a good fish. I've actually caught those years ago, and they, they are a really good fish. I've never had it here. So, I was going to get it. And, um,. I asked them if I could add a side of shrimp to it because the shrimp is so good here, I hate to not get it. Mm -hmm. So she said that they didn't have a combo with the pompano, that I'd have to order a, the shrimp appetizer. So she told me about the, it's called the Royal Red Shrimp, I think, um, yeah. right here under the appetizers. It's called the Royal Red Shrimp. So I asked her what that is. She said it's called a poor man's lobster, that it tastes just like lobster meat. So I said, okay, I'll try that. I really didn't want to pay the extra $15 for it. Here, hold this on me one time. Um, I didn't really want to pay the extra $15, but I didn't want to just get pompano, leave hungry, and not get the shrimp. So I thought, well, I'll try that for something different. So I ordered it. She says, well, we're out of the pompano. So that put me back to square one. So I went back to my usual, the Cortez Special, uh, which, again, is usually blackened um, grouper and fried shrimp. The only difference I did this time is I um, had them to fry the grouper instead. So, I am getting fried grouper and fried shrimp tonight instead of blackened grouper. Their blackened grouper is top notch, but I said I was going to do something different. So, uh, we did cancel the order on this uh, appetizer, the Royal Red Shrimp, since I had to go back to my original, which, which has shrimp. 
we're getting two two kinds of meat. So yeah, we'll all fine. that because they were out of pump under tonight. That's what I was going to get, and then we were going to do the appetizer with the shrimp. But um, by the way, if you're going to eat here, I advise you to stop at Walmart. They have a little gas station out in front of the store on your way in. Any size drink. This is about as big a drink as you'd ever want. Yeah. Seventy eight cents. Yeah. So it's cheaper than buying a drink here. Absolutely. And, so I don't uh, think you get refills water. And this is a water. cinnamon horchata drink, which is really, really good. Mm -hmm. It actually comes out of one of those, um, what, what's the word am I looking for? That you, you select like it on the street. Style. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, it was at a Walmart gas station. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty I'm nice. I'm sure you could get stuff here. Um, and they have soft drinks too. I think it's in a can. I think it's canned. Yeah. The only thing you get is water in Florida water. Yeah, it's not the, usually that great. They got a lot of other drinks, stuff we don't drink. Yeah. So, um, we usually stop and get us a drink on the way out here, and that's a good size drink right there. Yeah. So anyway, she has a totally different meal tonight. Mine's a little different in just the way they're doing my group for tonight. But other than that, I really wanted to do go with the pompano and again. Also, I want to mention that they do have a fish market here as well where you can go in and get fresh fish. You can get uh, batters for it. Um, what else they got in there? I guess hot sauces too, I would imagine. Yeah. And maybe and even just, a few little souvenirs. Did you say that you can buy fish there? Just well, I just said fresh fish, yeah. Um, fish market. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, what I was going to say is uh, we're not going to go in there today because we're a little pushed on time. We're trying to get back to the beach for sunset. Not sure we're going to make it. But um, we um, have been done it before. We actually went in there on our last what was it, last July's visit, uh, so you can check that out. Virginia Fun Seekers also did a review here, and they actually went to the fish market, and I think talked with the owner or the manager. Um, so that was really good. I encourage you to check their review out here as well. But right now it's just a matter of we're waiting for them to call our names. This is, again, we've tried a lot of seafood places in Florida. This is the one we have consistently been to every year, and I, I made a mistake last time I tried to mention. Was it 2013? 2015, one of those years. Uh, I want to say 2013, but again, I could be wrong. But we've come here every trip since then. It's, we're always going to come here. As long as, long as it's here, we're coming here. There's been times we came twice in the same trip. There are times, yes. That's true. Um, I will say this, and I've said this in other reviews, what you get here is consistency. If you've got something you like here, go with it. Again, we are deviating tonight just for the sake of doing another review, but we have our favorite meals here. And if you find something you just love, go with it, because it's, it's going to be the same next time that well, the paper towels are trying to blow. It's going to be the same next time you come, too. It's, it's consistent every time. It's not like it's good this time, the next time it's not so good. That's, that's what you get in a lot of places. It, it is the same every time I come here. Yeah. So, we're looking forward to our food tonight. By the way, I need to correct a mistake that I made in our review of Tide Tables restaurant. We were there yesterday, and as I was pointing back towards the bridge, and I say it because it's relevant to this review as well, you go across the same bridge to get over to Cortez to eat here as you do the Tide Tables. Uh, I was calling that the 689 bridge, meaning it was State Road 689. That is not correct. It's State Road 684. I said 689, I think, three times, and then I realized my mistake later. By that time, the video was already uploaded, so I couldn't go back and add the text correction over that spot. So I'm making that correction now. It was six, it's probably 680 or State Road 684. That goes from the mainland of Anna Maria Island to uh, uh, Cortez. I'm sorry, the island of Anna Maria to the mainland of Cortez. What did you say? Oh, that's that paper towel. Yeah, we got a paper towel to blow them. It's actually just covering the screen. It's not covering the lens, so you probably didn't even see it. But... Yeah, I want to make that correction. You take Highway 684, State Road 684, to 123rd Street. That's just one, two, three. You turn right down that, and it takes you right here to Starfish. Okay, here's mine. The cheese grits. The slaw here is very good as well. Uh, the hush puppies. I love the hush puppies here. You get two with every meal. And there is the fried grouper and the shrimp. Some of the best shrimp you'll ever eat, I'm telling you. And you got, tell, tell me again what you got, crab cake. Crab cake and a grouper. Cheese a grouper. <laughs> uh, which I, is mine ain't much better, but cheese grits and slaw. We don't get the fries here. The cheese grits are really Excellent. good. So. Father, we thank you for this day that you've given to us for the safety of uh, our trip down here. We ask that you would continue to be with us and watch over us as we travel home. Be with our family back home, Lord, and we just thank you for your blessing. We 
thank you for this food that you've been able to have this evening. We ask that you would bless it to our bodies, and we ask that you would help us to glorify you and all that we say and do. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Shaughnessy's going to try to buy that crab cake because she's never gotten a crab cake here before. I'm just curious what this little sauce is. That's I don't know what that is. Is it not tartar sauce? No, it's no, not. They're tartar sauce. Like horseradish, maybe. You're not a horseradish person, are you? Not really, no. So crab cake. Let's see, see that. See it. Right. That's really good. Really good? It is really good. Okay. Take a bite of your grouper. We know everything else is good. Cut a little piece of it. Dude, it's going to think it's going to be hot. It's good. It's good and crispy. Very good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well, we just finished up at Starfish for probably our 20-something visit here. So um, we did mix up the menu a little bit tonight, as we said we were going to do. She got something completely different. I got something a little different. So um, go ahead, tell them what you had, give your thoughts. So I got, mine was the Cortez Special, right? No, I don't remember. No, what yours was Stark. Yeah, you did get the, yeah. The Cortez Special, we picked two. So I yeah, chose right. the fried grouper <clears throat> and the crab cake. Um, cheese grits is a must and comes with coleslaw and hush puppies. Hush puppies are always good. Um, coleslaw is always good. Cheese grits, those are like a must because they are so delicious. I think they sat a little bit because they were kind of pasty, but still just as good Still as tasted always. the same, just yeah, consistency was a little yeah. thicker maybe. But it's later in the day too, so. But anyway, um, my fried grouper, that was really good. Um, it was really crispy, had a good taste to it. Um, my crab cake was excellent. I will say that I really, really enjoyed that. That was really good. That, that's the first time you've had a that's crab cake here? That's the first time here. I, yeah, here. Okay. And it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I did try a bite with that horseradish, whatever stuff. No, it was good, just fine with a little bit of salt on it. She's not much of a horseradish person. <laughs> but it was really good. So I enjoyed my meal. It was, I enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah. Are you going to tell them what I did to you with the wasabi pea that time? Yeah. yeah, there was like a little table that had like samples. This is in Asheville at the farmer's market. Had little samples of whatnot, uh, like trail mix stuff. And he said, oh, you need to, and we're a different place. And he said, oh, you need to try this over here. It's really sweet. I knew she wouldn't like it. Yeah, I, I, it was coated in a green coating. It was a little yeah, pea. It had a wasabi pea. And, and I, it was a wasabi pea, and I told her it was a lime. And, uh, yeah, I think you said it was sweet, like candy or yeah, something. And I was like. I, I had to repent. That wasn't exactly the truth, and I knew it wasn't. But Oh, but he got a kick out of it. He yeah. forgot it. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That, that's, the horse rash reminded me of that. Yeah. It was I, funny, though. It was funny. Now it's funny. Now yeah. it's funny. So, okay, you, did you review everything? I did. Okay. Um, yeah, the outdoor atmosphere, the temperature is about perfect. Mm -hmm. It's about, probably about to drop back to maybe 70 degrees right now. Uh, couldn't ask for better weather. You either swelter out here in the summertime, or last time we were here, she was a little chilly. This is perfect. Uh, so I got the um, same thing I always get, except I had them to fry the grouper instead of uh, blacking it. I love it blackened. I did not want to miss out on their shrimp. Folks, I'm telling you again, this is the best fried shrimp that I know of in this area that you can get anywhere. Uh, and I've had it at several places, and a lot of them are good. I'm not knocking the others, just I don't know. There's something about their shrimp here. It's not the little calabash-sized shrimp that you get back home they're, they along are good the coast. Size. Yeah. I don't know if you call them jumbo or just large, but they're, they're good-sized shrimp. <clears throat> and their, their um, tartar sauce is a little different color. It's, it's kind of got like a reddish tint a to it. Color, so yeah. that gave me the idea of putting a couple of drops, not a lot, just a couple of drops of Texas Pete or Crystal's hot sauce, whichever one you prefer. They've got both. Uh, putting that in there, stirring that around. And did that ever add some flavor to that? Just dipping that shrimp in that, was a, it was a pleasure. I uh, got the fried grouper. Um, it was good. I, I'm going back to the blackened grouper. I just like the blackened grouper here better. Uh, put a little hot sauce on that, and that's just good eating. So, cheese grits, like she said, they tasted the same. They were a little thicker consistency than usual. So, I think they would sat a little bit. Hush puppies were great. Um, coleslaw was really good tonight. Don't have a complaint. I've never really had a complaint here. Um, so, you know, that's why we're bringing another review, because we did mix it up a little bit. This may be the last review y'all see of this place for a while, because... I'm just going to go back to my regular. I will now if they get the pompano in, I will try that. They were out of it tonight. That's what I was going to go with, and they were out of it. So uh, I couldn't help that, and they couldn't. So 
Anyway, another great meal here at Starfish and Cortez. So we will leave you with this bit of advice. When in Cortez, do as she says. Eat at Starfish. You heard it here, folks. All right, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And find us on Facebook. All right, have a blessed evening.